Yo guys, what is going on? It is Zippy, welcome to today's video. And today guys, I've filmed all these videos on Christmas Day. Hence why I'm wearing the same jumper. So, why am I filming today's video? Well, I'm giving you a uh, gear rundown of the stuff that is on my kit. Now, obviously you saw the other day that I do have this 20-inch uh, A-Custom projection ride. Pr projection ride. Uh, um, but there's some st some gear on here that I haven't actually looked at with you guys, uh, so I thought it best to do so, uh, and just give you a whole gear run through. So what we'll start off with is we'll start off with the PST PST5 splashes. They are still here. Um, obviously, you know I, I got them for my birthday, uh, my, my 19th, and I was quite pleased with them. They were 30 quid each. These symbols, and I was really pleased with them. So. Do you wanna, I tell you what, should we hear how they sound? Yeah, I think we should. I've got an eight inch and a 10 inch. Let's do this. Pisty PST 7, 8 and 10 inch splashes. Um, we'll start with the symbols, work our way around. There's my hi hats, still here. Pisty PST 7 medium hi hats. They're a lovely little set of hi hats. Um, I really do like them. They are really like. Uh, mm. <laughs> now, they're, they're really nice. They've got a, a decent amount of tack on them, quite bright. Um, I just, I really like them. I think they cut through a mix nicely. But uh, at the same time, they sit right where you need them to. So let's give them a quick whack, shall we? the Travis Barker beat. I can't do it. I've tried, I just can't do it. So next up, the Peisty PST7 Heavy Crash. Now you guys know I completely destroyed my old one. So I had to get a new one and obviously I did and I got the heavy version of the same crash because I liked that crash and the heavy version is a lot, uh, it's a lot brighter, it's a lot, uh, it's got a lot more attack to it but plenty of body still um, and it, again it cuts really well. So, yeah, why don't we give it a, a bit more of a whack than that? to the right hand side of the kits as you guys know I got this wonderful Zildjian A Custom projection ride 20 inches and you know how much I love the symbol you know how much I talked about it the other day so let's have another listen shall we amazing again bright plenty of body quick attack it's just a, f a phenomenal symbol it's what i love i love the kind of brighter tones so moving on over here we have the peisty pst7 18 inch heavy crash uh i had to replace my zoltan q1 i don't know whether you guys even noticed but 
I had to replace my Zoltan Q1 uh, because it just kept breaking and I couldn't keep doing it. But then I remembered how well this one had lasted, uh, the original one anyway. So I thought, you know, I'll get the heavy one and hopefully it'll last me even longer. So this is the Peisty PST7. 18, 18 inch heavy crash and uh, I, I, it's become a bad habit doing that. Here we go. So once again, quick right attack. Um, there's certainly plenty of body in it in a mix. Uh, maybe on its own, it's probably a little bit. It's not quite enough, but certainly when you're playing on a full kit, it's got enough of everything, and it sits well as well as being able to cut through. And then last but not least, over here we do have a Zildjian A Ultra Hammer China. I love this China. You've seen it in a few of the videos uh, that I've done uh, because my PST7 one. Uh, kept breaking as well, so I thought I'll get a heavier one and this is also the same one that Jay Weinberg uses uh, So I was quite pleased to have received this symbol So that has got plenty of body that is incredibly overpowering, but it sits really nicely when you're playing, um, when you're using it, so it, it's just beautiful. I'll, I absolutely love that. All right, so uh, I'll do the boring bit next, then I'll get on to the drums. So first things first, sticks. A year ago, I was using uh, Vic Firth 8DNs. I am still using Vic Firth 8DNs. Uh, obviously, I did have those uh, Collision 7As, but uh, I must admit that I don't think they're for me, but... As I mentioned in the review I did on them, they are a good quality drumstick that uh, any drummer would be uh, lucky to have and to use. So I'm still using, yes, my 8 um, nylon tips. I feel they get a lot more um, definition from like the ride and the hi-hat, uh, as you heard in the video the other day. So um, once again this year, I'm not endorsed. I wish I was. Zildjian, if you are watching, you know... I've got two of your symbols. I want to get a whole set. If you want to endorse me and help me out, then uh, I'm not going to say no. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, that's my sticks. Now, my drums. Um, I'll, I'll, do my, I'll do my drums first, and then I'll do the heads. Uh, so, my kit is still the Mapex Mars Bonewood 22 by 18 bass drum, uh, which sounds like this. Oh. Um, and on my bass drum, I have an Evans EMAD 2. The stock head, uh, I went through it, uh, so I had to get a new one. My mate had already used the EMAD 2, and I'd used it whilst on his kit. And I absolutely loved it. He's obviously he's got a different kit than me, but I absolutely loved the way the EMAD 2 sound and felt. So I decided to buy one, and I honestly don't think I'll ever look back. That is an absolutely gorgeous little uh, bass drum sound there. Um, my snare, 14 by 6.5 bone wood snare. Uh, last year, I think I had a uh, Remo Emperor coated head. Uh, this year, I've got an Evans HD Genera Dry. Wow, I honestly don't know why I ever went with uh, Emperors in the first place. This head is just ridiculous. Take a listen. Oh, by the way, it has got like slap clats moon gel on it in different places to kind of make it sound like really nice and dry and flat because um, that's how I like my snare. But let's have a listen. Oh, A.S. Yeah. 
Yes. So for my toms, again, uh, it's like last year. I think this is a 12 by, I want to say, 8, maybe 9 um, inch floor top, uh, rack tom. Uh, I've still, uh, I've got a 14 by 14 floor tom and a 16 by 16 floor tom. They all still have Aquarian Super 2s on them as their heads. But I also now have big fat snare drums on all of them. I tried it out on my 14 inch floor tom, thought it sounded brill. And uh, decided to test them out on all my drums. And it just makes them sound so, so good. So uh, let's check them out, shall we? Amazing, I think. Um, I think if, if uh, you know, there might be a few maybe tweaks to make to the tuning of the of the tom, but I think the head needs replacing, and maybe the uh, I think I think the batter head needs replacing, and maybe the rezzo head too. I'm uh, I'm not too sure. I have to have a proper look into it. Whether it's the lugs need tightening, I don't really know. Okay, so let's move on to the 14 inch floor tom. Um, yeah, so again, Aquarian Super 2 on all the heads, big fat snare drum on the 14 inch floor tom, as well as the 16 and the 12. So here we go. So that's the 14 inch, so let's move on to the 16. Something I forgot to do with the snare drum was take the latches off, so let's do that. Whoa. That blends in well, to be fair, but I'll, I'll latch it back up. Uh, for my hardware, uh, I've got mostly Mapex. I didn't even realise I was buying Mapex stuff for the most part. Um, <clears throat> so obviously the hat, so these three, so the hat, pedal, the uh, crash stand and the ride stand are all Mapex because they came with the kit. The splash stands are also Mapex, I didn't realise that until recently because uh, I had the same stand on this side for my China initially. Uh, and it was a, the original one was a Mapex, this new one is also a Mapex but I didn't notice. And uh, this one is a Millennium's... I can't remember what the actual name of it is, but it's a Millennium one. I'll try and find it and uh, I'll give put a link to it in the description if you want to buy it. Because I actually quite like that one uh, for the most part. It means my uh, crash can kind of like swing a little bit. It's not kind of constricted like with some of these. But um, you will obviously notice as well. I'll go through the mic setup happily, um, even if I've not got it working yet. Uh, basically, my desk is a Behringer Zenex. 22, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in this, I'm gonna have to do it in the 6-6 six, six Samus voice. My, my desk is a Behringer Zenix X. Uh, it has a USB plug-in um, for, the, for the audio interface, which I've not quite managed to get working yet. I think something I found out the other day was that you can only record through two channels, um, but I'm not too sure. If anybody knows more about this desk, then, Please help me because I'm clueless. Um, in terms of microphones, um, on my bass drum, I have the AKG P2. I've had that mic for quite a while, uh, as you guys know, but I never was able to get it working. Like I never had enough money to buy the rest of the kit that I needed, but I do now, and I have done. So once I get it all working, um, obviously I'll come back with some covers. Uh, on my drums, I have the Sennheiser E602s uh, on my snare on my, on, and on all my toms. Um, my college used them, and I loved the sound of them. I thought they were brilliant. They had, again, great definition on some of the, on some of the drums, so I went with those. Uh, for my main two overheads, I have Behringer C2s. Now, they came as a set, and they were only 35 quid, which, uh, but obviously, I'm trying to do things on the cheap, so... Um, they're still good quality for, you know, 30 quid. Um, 
I was quite, imp I'm quite impressed with some of the sound quality they've got, but they do have a lot of bleed between each other, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to try and figure out a proper setup for that, but I may end up only ends up using one and the, and the kick drum, if uh, the thing I said before about my desk is right. Um, but yeah, so C2s, and then over here, I have a Behringer B5 uh, as my left overhead for like my hi-hats and stuff. Uh, I've got it kind of out of the way because otherwise when I'm playing over here and like splashes and stuff, um, I end up like whacking my stick on the uh, on the stand um, and it knocks me off. Uh, like like my, my, my stick flies out of my hand and shit like that. So, uh, that being said, uh, I hope... That helped. I hope you guys. You guys obviously got a chance to listen to some of my gear. I've already done a shootout of my old ride against my new ride. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it helped you a little bit in uh, you know maybe deciding some of the stuff that you might want to buy. Um, I would recommend all of this. However, the A Custom Projection Ride and the A Ultra Hammer China are incredibly expensive. So. Maybe start with the PSD sevens. They were a good option initially, but if you're a heavy hitter, then I'd always I, even if like I, I just recommend buying this because I'm a heavy hitter and this is made for metal and rock. Um, as are these, as are all of this, and the projection ride. But a PSD seven medium ride will serve you just as well. But I would still go with the heavy crashes, uh, medium splashes, and uh, any, basically everything I've got here. I'd recommend including the medium ride, which is down there now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll play you guys out basically, I'll play a few beats and grooves and stuff and uh, you guys can see how it all mixes in together, so uh, shall we? I've just been kind of filming uh, the outro stuff. I just, but I'll, uh, I'll I'll whack this in somewhere. So I actually forgot to mention uh, I my pedals. Uh, I do have I do still have my Iron Cobra two hundreds. I want the Speed Cobras, but they're really expensive. So I am gonna have to wait. Uh, that said, guys, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas, um, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you all, and I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Goodbye.